maturity is over! This time on The Big Show, Chernobyl melts faces but in a tasteful way. Out of the four of us, how many cried at Toy Story 4? And Jason's dad finds a creative and painful way to get out of babysitting this summer. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Mr. Hargitay. This episode of The Big Show is brought to you by a very blue Will Smith and superfan Rob Kidman, who we hope is not melting in London. Hey everybody, it's The Big Show, episode 339 for June 30th, 2019. Happy summer. Well, if you live in Portland, it's summer. It's summer. Summer starts on Thursday. Yeah. I'm Jason. I'm Anna. And uh, we were just sitting down to do, um, we haven't done a big show since April, <laughs> and so we've been consuming a lot of stuff, but recently we were just talking about allowance for Elliot. Who is a pain, or saving Who is a to, pain? Who, who is, is a pain? pain. <laughs> She's really, you heard it really here not. first. Uh, she is saving to go on a trip with friends. Girls trip. In two years. So we're trying to decide... How much work does she need to do every week, and how much do we pay her? And it's sort of a difficult balance. Yeah. She needs to be doing a lot more work for the money I'm going to pay. Right. That's what I'm saying. What do they pay these days for allowance? Anyway. I don't know. Speaking of Elliot, are you ready for Stranger Things Season 3? Oh, I'm, so, I'm pretty excited now. So we're watching Stranger Things 1 with Elliot. Don't judge my parenting. I don't judge yours. <laughs> She's almost 12. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine, actually. She's loving it. Anna was more scared of season one than Elliot is. Yeah. Of course, she's sitting over there with her parents who are like, mm, whatever, because we're yeah. not freaking and out. And so. I, I didn't really want to watch it again, but it's really thrilling and also like, okay, this is not as scary the second time around, not even mm -hmm. close. But it was so scary the first time around. We just watched the episode with um, where she puts the lights and then the thing comes through the wall. That was the worst episode for me. <laughs> it was the scariest one. Um, Elliot was telling me, though, when I was driving her to a friend's house, that uh, that the scariest thing for her is that the Demogorgon, you think it's chasing you, and then it's in front of you, or it's you, you think you got away from it, and then it's right there, and she's like, that's not okay. <laughs> she doesn't like that unpredictable yeah. nature of the Demogorgon. The worst part, though, is that she sits there with us and asks us questions constantly while we're watching it. I don't know it's if like, they're rhetorical. Shut up. <laughs> We're not telling you. We're not spoiling. Is he gonna die? Is, he, is he gonna die? Is, is it, that Will's body? Is he really dead? Is he really dead? Is that him? It's fake. It's a fake body, right? <laughs> so, but you know what she did say? Is she said, "Will you wait to watch season three with me?" And I'm like, "I think I will because I don't want you asking me questions constantly." That'll be fun. About it. She'll still ask us, "What do you think?" And then it'll be like the conversation at dinner. Oh, honey, we can't talk about in front of your five -year -old disembodied sister. children in front of your little sister. Yeah, she's trying to talk about it today in the car. When they cut into his body, I was like, shut up, there's a five-year-old in the car. Oh, so they're individually wrapped. <laughs> We're going to do a tasty test. We're trying to do less tasty tests with our children. Fewer. Edit. Edit. <laughs> Edit. Edit. We're trying to do fewer tasty tests with our children. Uh... Because Elliot is getting old, is going into middle school, and we want to give her more choice for being in videos and so. being on the internet. We'll talk about her, evidently. So we got these Reese's Thins. Oh, these are tiny. Yeah, this and is they gonna cost be, like three bucks for that package. These are the Stupid. dark ones. I think they're going to be just like regular Reese's, only smaller. And a lot easier to just pop a bunch. They Ooh, are. they don't they have are the smaller. They don't have the paper on them though. Mmm. Ah, it's melting in my hand. Yeah, you have to just stick the whole thing in your mouth. Apparently. Mm, um, I, I think frozen. We should yeah, freeze them. we should try That was dark. I think it's just like a regular Reese's, just more chocolate, less peanut butter. Mm hmm I think it's about the same amount of chocolate, give or take. But they'd have room for less peanut butter. I don't like that. their dark chocolate. There's your regular one. Mm. Dark chocolate's kind of an art, and you shouldn't get it it's in It's true. You shouldn't get it in cheap candy. I'm not a dark chocolate snob. You can also hold on to the with your... Mmm. Mmm. Huh. I think I prefer... Freeze them. I think I prefer the um, regular ones. 
like you were saying before the show though, those would be good in um, s'mores mm -hmm. because they're not as thick. Yeah, the so s'mores, the, the big ones are like. <sighs> so. I think they should either be frozen or in s'mores. Okay. There you go. That was a quick tasty test <clears> on the big show. <clears throat> I'm gonna need a drink. You're not gonna like this. I know, but I need some liquid. <sighs> so we've been watching a lot of. Oh, that actually has taste to it though. Yeah, the Spindrift has chunks in it. I don't mind that one, actually. Yeah, it's good. You, There are other Spindrifts. Chunks? Some girls tell you like a little bit of um, grapefruit, I think. It doesn't seem right. Like those drinks we had in Paris? No, but every once in a while I feel like I have like a little piece of pulp. Hmm. All right. Probably not. It's probably all in my head, but anyway. So um, let's get to the show. We've been watching a lot of streaming stuff lately, so we thought we would go through some of that. Um, Dead to Me on Netflix. Kind of addicted. Kind of a dark comedy mm -hmm. that it is, yeah. um, started out funnier, then got pretty serious, um, but still a little quirky. But funny. Ten episodes. Mm -hmm. It's been renewed for season two, so know that going forward, because there's a pretty big cliffhanger at the end, or plot point, yeah. that they just sort of plop at you. Um, but it's uh, Christina Applegate and Hawkeye's wife. <laughs> Do you know that she plays Hawkeye's oh, wife? In, no, I didn't um, know that. Avengers. I yeah. didn't recognize her from anything. No, well, you no. can't even really say what it's about, except Christina Applegate's husband dies. Yeah, and she gets and a really nice um, uh, Mexican enchilada, some sort of enchilada with raisins in it. Oh right. I don't know. And Arab spring rolls. <laughs> that's funny. no, that's at the restaurant. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, and so she goes to a grief counseling, and she meets this woman who is also lost, and they sort of become friends, and it's the story going forward, and it's like, and it, and it, just, it just builds gets, and builds but and it builds, builds and but it builds. just gets deeper, and it's like this <laughs> digging this hole, and it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper into this hole, and, 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 you know, I can't handle shows that are like, oh, uncomfortable, I, you know, you can't, I, like, well, like the office is is like that, and the office is really funny. I guess it's not really the British a office example. was more. Oh, the British cringy. office was really yeah. cringy, and and this is not cringy enough that I can't handle it. But right. it's definitely like oh god. Yeah. Um, it was really good though. I really liked it. Well, because it's not one person on another cringy. It's we are cringed out because we know what's happening, but not all the characters know what's happening. So it's yeah. not the same sort of level of yeah cringeworthiness. It's but. good stuff. Yeah, so Dead to Me on Netflix. Check that out for sure. Uh, we watched Killing Me. Killing Me? Lots of death today on the stream. Dead to Me, Killing Eve. Killing Eve Season 2. Last time we were talking about Killing Eve Season 1, which we were addicted to when we watched. Season 2 picks right up where uh, Season 1 lets off. And then it's like this weird... The first four episodes are like different, right? Because... I'm trying to remember. Well, because Villanelle has been... Um, oh, right. Injured. Injured. And then, and then she tries to get to London and then she like ends up in this weird situation yeah. for like four episodes and it's like this bonkers world, but it's still very uh, entertaining and engaging. It is. And I still love Villanelle and she's crazy and it's, and it's very good. Yeah. I just love it. And then the characters sort of like come together and it's like a whole nother dynamic for the rest mm -hmm. of the season. And I think it's only eight or 10 episodes and it's on BBC. Right now it's only on BBC America. We watched it on Hulu when it had finally right. come over. But um, but I have to say that I found it up to par with the first season. Mm -hmm. The first couple of episodes are a little off, but they get back on, so stay with it. But well, Yeah, it's just they're different. Yeah, but, yeah. They're still, it's difficult to see Villanelle in a, um, in a situation where she's vulnerable. Yeah. And so that's kind of how it starts out. But... but and she's not. <laughs> she kicks she's ass not. again. And but that's I thought that was a good part of her. I don't know that it, it changed her in any way, her character or anything. She just had to go through it, probably made her more tough. Yeah. But definitely still watch a it. great show. One of our favorite shows. So uh you watched Chernobyl. I did. I didn't get to see it. It was kinda of pissed to me. I had a few nights where I was just like, I can't sleep. I can't I just need to stay up and watch something and mm -hmm. so and I'm reading, like, it's getting these rave reviews, like, the highest score on IMDb, and, like, all these, I'm like, you're watching it without me? It's like, watch it at the gym. So then I try and watch it at the gym, and it's, like, so quiet, and I've turned on the, the uh, words, 
So. Oh yeah, that's no good when you're at the gym. I didn't do that. Yeah. So maybe I'll watch it later sometime. Well, but... put it. But just turn it on when I'm putting Amity to bed, and then yeah. you just I'll just wait till you finish watching it, and then we'll turn on something. Okay. But did you enjoy it? Um. Yeah. You know what? I I thought the storytelling was really well done. I didn't. It wasn't one of those things where it was like, oh god, I can't. You know, I'm gonna binge it and stay up all night or anything, like that. And I was sort of indifferent to. I was like, well watch the next episode i think well, it's no game of later. thrones but right it wasn't like oh my god have you seen it it's not like that at mm -hmm. all and and i think that um so then i i watched something after it that um oh just the ending has quite a bit about the actual event and like who the characters are in the in their movie and so there's this one woman character who's like you have to tell the truth write to the doctor about why this happened and um or to the to the scientist, and and she actually represents this whole team of scientists who were figuring out what actually happened, mm -hmm. and I I do believe that that is I I would need to because obviously it's like a fictional it is a fictional program but it's mm -hmm. based on the true events, and so I don't know that every little thing that happened was true but it was, it was interesting it wasn't like you know like Game of Thrones is super gross out right they will show you some pretty crazy stuff, and that the it didn't even feel like the point of it was to show me some disgusting guy with his face melting off. And if they did, it wasn't um, gratuitous at all. So I think it was just really well done. Okay. And it's, but it moves really slow and it's not like super intense. And I don't know how to explain it, but it's just the storytelling is really, really good. It's um, generating a tourism buzz now. Ugh. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> um, why the hell would you want to go to Chernobyl after seeing that show? I don't know. You would never want to go to Chernobyl after seeing that show. <laughs> Not even within 30 kilometers of. You wouldn't want to go to the town over. But uh, yeah, if you have if you have <clears throat> HBO, I would say you should watch it. It's it's really I'm, just captivating. I'm totally gonna watch it. That, I know that was not like a really hard sell. I guess I would just say it was a really it was a strong series. No, you, Anna, when you don't like something, we know that you don't like That's something. That's true. It was good. So, well done. There you go. Uh, we watched the first episode of Catch-22 on Hulu, which I found enjoyable. Hey, you can watch that one without me. But you didn't want to watch... But, but it wasn't out. like these other ones where it's like, oh, I have to watch the next one. It was like, oh. And then we forgot we watched it. Yeah. And then we didn't get into the second one. Mm -hmm. So, But it's only like six episodes, too. And it's got George Clooney while well, he's in the first one. and I think he comes back. Hugh Laurie. And yeah. It was, it was funny. But I, I found it forgettable. Okay. I kind of forget what it was about. The, they go to war, but they don't want to be at war. Yeah, 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 if you're you're crazy to be there, but if you think you're crazy, then you're not, you're not crazy. crazy. That's the catch twenty two. Yeah. Um, okay, let's talk about some movies then. Toy Story four. Bring us down on that one. Um. Eh, eh. Uh, number three, still my favorite. The real tearjerker. Did not cry during Toy Story four. Um, it felt like a little bit, speaking of gratuitous, gratuitous on the Bo Peep side. Like, they were like, oh, we really need to put a strong female lead in this show, uh, so let's do one more Toy Story. That's sort of what it felt like to me um, with Bo Peep. Because Toy Story 3 was the perfect ending they to just stopped there. the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And they, we, Andy was gone. We've gone on to Bonnie. Yeah. But then they started doing the shorts, so we kept living with it, and then like, oh, well, let's do a Woody... Um, sort of goodbye sort of thing, maybe? I don't know. And can I say, I mean, so I, I would spoil it if I say, but I feel like the message from the movie is a little bit questionable about what the message is. And it sort of seems like, well, if you're not the favorite, then you should leave. <laughs> Woody doesn't die. No. No. But it just so. sort of seems like eh, the message is not great. I don't know, but it was, I, I, I found the ending of it sad, but it was all contrived to be it that. Was. They were and so to make it was, and so it was pushed there. And, but even a bad Pixar movie is still good. Yeah, oh my God, you know what I saw today? So, I had to go to Walmart, y'all, because they don't sell my dishwasher soap at Fred Meyer anymore. Walmarts. I went to Walmart, and then I went over to the toy aisle, because I thought, oh, we're going on a trip soon, I should get something to put in the car for mm -hmm. Amity, since she gets car sick now and can't, like, read or do any workbooks or anything. Anyway, um, I didn't get, find anything for her, but they had Toy Story toys there, and they had a Woody in this, in this big box with one of the, um, the dummies. 
<laughs> the ventriloquist dummy dolls, which are so scary. And I said out loud to myself when I saw that in Walmart, who would want that? <laughs> well, I, and then the man in pajamas, well, I bought four. <laughs> I set them up around my whole dining area. <clears throat> they just spin their heads around. So it was okay. I still like Toy Story 3 the best. Me too. But, um, Aladdin, the new Aladdin, I've seen it twice. I've seen it. One time, Amity and I sat in the front row <laughs> in recliners. I that, That's the thing when you buy your tickets on the little thing out front. Like, oh, that whole back At row. At a theater with which you are unfamiliar. Yeah. The whole back row is available. We'll take those two. Oh, it was flipped. Okay. <laughs> I brought the front row. But you know what? Uh, God bless Will Smith because he had huge shoes to fill and he made the genie his own and he did it. Hats off to him because he did an incredible job with um, an incredible task. So I think that was great. Um, also, they flipped this script a little bit and you made it a uh, girl power, which Elliot Appear loved. Appreciated. And uh, Amity liked it. Am Elliot was afraid that Amity was going to be scared, but I'm like, I don't think so. And she wasn't really, so she really liked it. And we've been playing the music nonstop in the house, and I'm sure we will. I put a moratorium it it. on it in the car. Yeah. When it comes out, I'm sure we will own it in this house. So, um, yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was good. It was good. I mean, it's getting a bat. It's getting a 56 yeah. on the old Rotten Tomatoes, but it's getting it. a pretty high audience score. So I think that, uh, critics didn't like it, but people liked it. So it's weird. Sometimes those scores mm -hmm, line up off. and sometimes they are like way off. Like the Walter Mitty movie. Yes. That's an excellent movie. I like Walter Mitty. Critics hated it. I love that movie. And yeah. it's really like fan favorite too. Yeah. Audiences love that movie. Yeah. Even though we have still to this day have a Ben Stiller moratorium. Walter Mitty. Endgame. We didn't talk about Endgame anywhere. Um, that was a lot of movie. That was a long time ago. It was. It was April. Uh, okay. So not enough. Captain Marvel. Yeah. Whatever. But she just came in and was like the Deus Ex Machina at the end anyway. Yeah. Like blew things up and that and then that. Iron Man did his thing. So. Yep. Oh, the Iron Man thing at the end. I. It was really cute. So I went with Elliot, and there were two little boys next to us who were probably 10 or 11. <laughs> they were crying at the end. And I was like, Elliot, those boys are crying. I cried, too. I didn't. It was sad. Did you really? Yes. Oh. It was very emotional. <laughs> I am very emotional. The, um, and they, they had to give him a the kid, other right? girls so that made in my family are stone cold. They don't cry at Toy Story. They don't cry when Iron Man saves the day. And dies. I bawled. Just so you know. I didn't. Stone cold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Not I, I true. Wasn't, I wasn't super happy with the whole time travel I, I totally story. cried when we watched Toy Story 3 the other night. Just full on cried. Yeah. So did I. Um, I wasn't super happy with the whole time travel story. Yeah, I know. Because we've been talking. Elliot's been talking about it since then. And yeah. She's like, Wait a second. So Gamora's back, but she forgot because she, a I different know. line. And, and their rules for time travel are different. Like you don't you they change something in the past. Rules. It doesn't. It's like a multiverse. And, right. And but the use of time travel, I thought when they were back there was funny and fun. Like Captain America fighting himself. The whole oh yeah, that was funny. Thing of that is America's um, ass. <laughs> The whole thing where uh, Tony Stark could see his dad, and that whole thing was kind of fun. And well, I did like yeah, <clears throat> I like the um, like jaded Captain Marvel fighting the, you yeah. know, ultra good, mm -hmm. you know, on on the team Captain Marvel. That yeah. was or not Captain, Captain Marvel, Mar Captain, Captain America. America. I thought that was really funny because then you actually got to see like, oh yeah, that guy did go through. Mm -hmm. A change. Yeah. And Elliot's all upset about the whole Gamora thing. She can't, that's the worst part she for her. And she's pissed it. about, well, and Gamora Black Widow. and Black Widow. She's upset about Black Widow. How Gamora is a clean slate and how now, you know, Star Lord. But, but I, well, like I was telling you last night, I was like, Star Lord went through this whole character change with Gamora, fell in love, became a different person, and came around, and then he had a loss. And it's great for storytelling. Yeah. And who knows what's going to happen going forward with them, but she just wants it back the way it used to be. And yeah. It doesn't always happen that way. Nope. But that's okay. Um, oh, we went to the drive-in and saw Secret Life of Pets 2. 
That was horrible. I was there so were, bored. There were three different stories, and oh, it was just and they were like terrible. Oh, why did you do this to me? It's so bad. But we do love the drive-in, so go the drive-in. Yeah. You got to go though in a movie that you don't really want to pay that much attention to, and yeah. that you can miss pieces of or whatever. Because last year I think we went to Christopher there's... Robin. Oh yeah. We didn't like that either. Good. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you didn't need to go to a good movie. Uh, you just watched Gross Point Blank. I did. Back in the nostalgia. Yeah, I love that movie. It's still funny. It's it's so funny. I love yeah. Did you watch? The, you didn't watch the whole thing. No, I skipped some parts. Oh, okay. I just skipped to my favorite parts. Really. I went to bed. You were watching Chernobyl. I had already watched Chernobyl, yeah. so I watched. Well, I was feeling guilty because I watched something without you. So oh. then I was like, well, I guess I'll just rewatch something that I like. Mm. So I watched a little gross point blank. All right. Because I don't really want to watch Riverdale. I'm not super into it. And or then Sabrina. Sabrina. I wa I've you know started both of those series and. Not Nothing, really. huh? No. Nah. Nothing. Sabrina one is actually really dark. Like there's some, she's, you know, in a family of, of witches, but really it's the devil that they're worshiping and he wants her in her, um, coven, coven, oven, coven, coven. And, um, and she doesn't want to join and, and, but then all these horrible things are, I don't know. It's really dark. Hmm. It's, and so I was hoping for more like, you know, funny, I guess like Buffy type stuff, right? You know, still with the, the teenage life and then this other thing on the side. And they're trying to do that, but the teenage life is not quirky or fun. Hmm. It's just more drama on the teenage side. And, yeah. Right. So. So you watched the trailer for uh, Veronica Mars. Did you? Mm. No, you didn't. <laughs> Anna! <laughs> Oh, oh. it looks crap. Anyway, it looks like crap. Oh. <laughs> so like she's back working with her dad and like there's someone letting, setting off bombs in town. Mm. So she has to figure it out and it's got J.K. Simmons and of course the trailer paints him as the radical blowing up. What is oh, it? Oh, he played the white supremacy yeah. pretty well. And uh, just to keep away the tourists or something. I don't know. It looks so dumb, Freaking but tourists. hopefully it's not dumb. Californians. But, oh wait, it is in California. But it looks a little weak. So, and then Frozen 2. I did see the trailer you, for did that. You see the trailer and the for teaser. that? And the teaser. <laughs> yeah. Good. The, they go on a trek. You know what's so funny the four is of them. Elliot is more excited for it than uh, Amity. And Amity likes that movie. She does. But Elliot's like, I don't know what it is with that movie, but oh no, it was huge for her. It was no, it was when she was, it was six, a big deal for it her. It was a very big deal. We watched when we went to the theater like the four theater times, tons of times. <laughs> we went to we sing listened, along, yeah, to this the music all the time. But she won't watch it anymore, <laughs> like if Amity wants to watch it. But uh, she is super jacked for that movie to come out. It's funny. So that and Star Wars, which now there's a teaser first, um, the Last Skywalker. Oh. Lost Skywalker? Rise of the Skywalker. Uh, Something Skywalker? Okay. I don't know. There is a teaser for it? I've seen nothing. Yeah, she jumps over the... Um, oh, no, I have seen that. Yeah, just a quick... The TIE Fighter or TIE something. Fighter, yeah. And evidently, Luke Skywalker comes back in ghost form. Or, as they do. As that they happens. Do. They don't so, actually die. And um, Leia has a beautiful death. <laughs> She's going to have to. So, anyway, I don't know. Is there, do you have, you, are you reading books for this summer? I wrote down educated, but I think we already talked about it. Yeah, I'm listening to American Gods. Mm -hmm. um, the thing about listening to books is I kind of go, I drift off. And if I have a book in front of me, I won't really drift off. Or else I will, but I won't I'll lose my place or right. lose what the story is. Because it doesn't keep going without me. Uh, so, yeah, I'm reading, listening to American Gods. I, well, oh, because we watched... I'm not um, very far into it. We watched the first episode of Good Omens. Right. Which I do want to watch more of, but... Yes, me too. And that thought, oh, American Gods I enjoyed, and that's also Neil Gaiman, and I thought you would find it a little funny or quirky or interesting. It's interesting. Um, I liked... That was one of the books that I did, like, recently. I've been out of books lately. Yeah. I, mean, I started, like, four or five. I'm like, I'm not into it. So, I don't know. I don't know. Is there anything else to talk about? I think we've... How about that heat in much. Paris? Holy buckets. Glad glad I'm not there. Yeah, we were just saying that we're going to go on vacation and we're not going back to Europe. And But all of our Europe photos are going to come up on Facebook memories soon. <laughs> we're like, oh, that was fun. We're not there now. Nope. Can't do an epic summer every year. Thanks, Facebook. 
but anyway. Okay. Yeah. Um, Is there anything else coming out this summer that we want to see? Movie. Well, Elliot and I are going to go to Spider-Man on Tuesday, I think. Mm. There's a four o'clock matinee. If you guys are around, we're going to go to the four o'clock. Spider-Man. Oh, we're going to go see Eddie Izzard. Oh, we're going to see Eddie Izzard tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Yeah. For real. For your birthday. Or whatever. Yeah. Because last time he was in town, we we found out by reading the marquee. And yeah. we're like, oh, never it's again. Tonight. Never again. Yes. And then we got the tickets and it's been like a pain in the butt to try and um, my dad Plan fell our out lives of, around. My dad fell out of a tree. And so that happened. And they were gonna be our babysitters. And he shattered his here's what you don't don't do. You don't put a ladder on a tree, a small like a, tree, like it was only this big, right? So it's got some wiggle to it. Go to the top, carrying a 40 pound chainsaw, and then you cut off the top. This is a tree you're gonna cut the whole thing down anyway. So let's you be clear off on the that. Top, though. So you go up and you just cut the top off, and then what happens is that weight whoosh, and whips the ladder back, and you're, oh, by the way, you're on a incline. On a ravine. On a gully. Yeah, down into a ravine. And uh, so it kicks the ladder back, and you know you're going to fall. So you chainsaw, still running, not spinning, but just still running. Throw that one way, and then try and jump and land on a soft fern on the other side. Land on your feet, you're still going to shatter something. Yeah, so he broke your feet, tibia, which is the small bone under your knee. Um, that shattered into, like, bits, pieces, just, like, nothing anymore. So now he's got a big... You know those um, things they used to hang shelves on the wall? The the L thing? He's got one of those in yeah. his leg. Um, probably not from the Home Depot, but it's more expensive. So, yeah, the uh, x-rays, it's all screws. And and then his, like, leg was expanding, so they had to cut it open and move skin around his body. So what I'm saying is... We didn't have a babysitter. We don't have a babysitter. <laughs> for <Eddie Hizzard. laughs> But don't worry... We found one. Yeah. We're good. So, also my dad is feeling better. He should be able to walk in August. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I should put a picture up of the x-ray, but I won't because I respect his privacy not to tell this story to complete strangers. Wait a second. You did. You're not a stranger. Mm. You love me. We're deep. And your dad. And, and my dad. Yep. Yeah. So, you want another Reese's and just close this thing no, out? I don't. I don't either. Do you want to freeze them? Yes. What if we freeze them and then you make s'mores? Hmm. Would that I be don't... too much hot and cold? Yeah, that wouldn't go. Probably. But it would be hard. They would melt well with a s'more, though. Better than a full Reese's. Which well, is I mean, the other like, one's... A lot of Reese's. It's a lot of, a lot of peanut butter. Yeah. They, and they can't find those new marshmallows that have chocolate on the inside. I didn't know I would have bought some today. They were at Walmart. I looked for them at Walmart. They got them right there in the middle of the, the aisle, over by the cereal, in the s'mores aisle. That is exactly like, where I looked for them. It is a display for s'mores. Yes, I have circled and that I because it's those, on the way to the Oreos. And I looked at those, and I was like, there's no way that's staying on a stick. Probably not. So I But you turn it the other way, not this way, not into the center, into the circle, but into the rectangle side. Yeah, maybe. I think you're good then. Sorry. They're, I know where they are. That's okay. I got the cream soda. You got cream soda? Yeah. I don't really like cream soda. Required for the lake. If it oh. Is. But no, we were going to get... Um, what kind did you get? A&W. Oh. And I think she wanted... Well, she doesn't care. You're more of a snob when it comes to the Rippers and the cream sodas than Elliot. Yeah. Anyway, that's everything that I, I ran out of things to talk about like 15 minutes ago. So we've just been filling time. <laughs> you heard about <laughs> my father-in-law's uh, broken, broken leg. Yeah. Leg. So anyway, uh, that's everything. I'm Jason. I'm Anna. Seacrest. Out.